Twas weeks before Christmas and all through the shades, all the workers were stirring and had been for days. What Shays really does, it's a place where families, uh, groups, and individuals come to truly ground themselves to remember what's important in this world, it takes us away from the mundane, the seriousness that we've all been through. Theater, music, art takes us away in a very intellectual way. John Dupreville, director of sales for Hale Northeastern, an event contractor specializing in decorating, guides the workers on the balcony from the floor below. Right there, now disconnect that. To make sure that every bow, light, and swag is in perfect place. You can see, look at that, look at that, there's a zip tie on it. All of the decorations of this year at Shays are completely new. It took a month of preparations and two days of decorating. Back at the uh, property at Hale in our warehouse, we brought everything back, strung it out, all the garlands, looked at them, refurbished, uh, replaced everything. So we had quite an army of people on it and we worked weekends, Saturdays, Sundays. Duperville has been collaborating with Shays Performing Arts Center home to Broadway touring shows to make sure the theater is holiday ready. The inspiration for these new decorations comes from the opulence of Shays, which incorporates rich golds and burgundies. And in the ceiling of this beautiful uh, painted structure, there's a very light antique blue. They wanted that blue to be seen, and that was a big part of the light essence that you'll see around all the ornamentation this year. Following weeks of meticulous work, the theater is brimming with holiday spirit. As patrons admire the decorations and get ready for the curtain to rise, they feel the festive cheer. After such a trying time, some people say that this holiday season is the most special yet. Clearly, all of the designers' hard work paid off, and I heard them exclaim as they drove out of sight, Happy holidays to all, and to all a good night. Reporting in Buffalo, Catherine Chloe Cahoon, Spectrum News.